Hey y'all, uh, this is Dimitri with uh, ukidstoys.com. Um, uh, this uh, portion of the video is co to cover the operation of the truck, uh, which you've seen earlier in the assembly, uh, or you can actually go on a link below for the assembly video if, this is, if you're watching the separate one. I uh, just wanted to cover some basic uh, operation stuff and uh, to make sure you understand how everything works and how everything uh, uh, moves. Uh, so let's start with the uh, first uh, mechanical portion of it, uh, rubber band, engine, movement, and etc. So now, since you have the truck assembled, uh, here are the few uh, pointers. So before you start winding up, make sure you're in neutral, uh, which is a little dedicated by letter N, and you have that lever right underneath it, or almost right underneath it. Uh, and then this little lever uh, is in the exclamation point position. So you gotta move it over here to make sure that the system is locked while you're winding up. It doesn't start moving on you. So to wind up the units, uh, there is a little lever right here on the top of the uh, roof. And uh, you just need to wind it up, uh, let's say about 20 to 30 times in order to uh, start operating. Uh, just to note uh, that uh, after the assembly, because uh, the gears are brand new, you just cut them out or you just uh, punch them out from the uh, plywood. Uh, they will stick together a little bit, uh, so the operation is not going to be as smooth in the beginning. But uh, with time, it, uh, the gears will settle and they will adjust uh, the operation. So it's going to be getting smoother and smoother and smoother every single time, uh, every next time you try it. So, um, First thing, uh, so you wind it up uh, by moving this lever forward uh, or away from yourself if you're holding the truck the same way as I do and uh, bring it backwards. So you can hear a little clicking noise, that's perfectly fine, that's what it's supposed to do uh, and that's the way you wind it up. So we need to do it 20 to 30 times in order for the uh, moving mechanism start to work. So let's do it. So I did it 25 times or somewhere around there. Uh, before we start the operation, a little pointer, that uh, there is a little lever right here. So this lever, uh, it's a throttle operation of the engine. Uh, when, you, when it's uh, in this position, in the horizontal position, uh, the, this little lever right here, it's all the way down. So it's going to be a freely moving operation of the engine and uh, it will go at the fastest rate it can. Uh, well, obviously, the more wind windings you did, the faster it's going to go. Um, if you raise that lever up, uh, this little uh, moving mechanism will hit against the, uh, uh, your hood and uh, will prevent from, en uh, from engine to uh, speed up during the idle or movement operation. Uh, so there is also a possibility to adjust those. Um, when you move the lever up, uh, up or down uh, into the horizontal or vertical position, you can see it below right here there is uh, some little holes. So you can adjust the idle speed uh, of the engine by moving it up and down and actually using a toothpick in one of these holes to lock it down at the perfect pace that you found to be right for, uh, for your car, for your vehicle or truck. Uh, so this is pretty much that's what this lever does. Uh, it's uh, controlling idle operation of the engine. Uh, so we're gonna move it for this first step. We're gonna keep it in a vertical position that will restrict the movement of the engine so it doesn't speed up too too much. Uh, next thing is that uh, as I mentioned before, uh, your gears are not settled yet after the assembly. Uh, it will take uh, quite a few tries, well, I shouldn't say quite a few, just few tries until they perfectly going to be operational. Uh, so if uh, when you go into the uh, movement mode, uh, moving from exclamation mark to here, uh, you might want to move this gear a little bit, give it a little push so the part's going to start moving. So now I'm just going to show you, uh, as I said, there was about 25 windings on here. We are neutral, so it's only engine that is going to be operation. So once I move it here, here we go. So that's what you should see. And then once again, if it gets stuck, 
Uh, if it's not moving, just give it a little push to the gear and it's gonna keep on going. So as I mentioned, the more you do it, the easier it's gonna go because the gear is gonna settle into its all, uh, into the mechanism and everything's gonna be operation in operation nice and smoothly. So this is the first one. As I mentioned before, you can wind it up. Uh, make sure you put it back into the exclamation point 25 more times. And now I'm gonna move this lever into the uh, horizontal position and you'll see how much faster the engine is moving. So you, you'll see the difference and you'll feel the difference. Uh, if you wind it up a little bit more during the engine operation, uh, there is a little gas pedal and if you press that gas pedal, it will rev it up. Obviously only if that uh, this lever uh, on the background is in the upright position which is uh, the throttle level should be up vertically and that way you'll be able to operate a little gas and give it a little uh, rev up to the engine during the operation so let me see if I'll be able to do that just one second So I went 30 times right now just uh, to give it a little bit more time uh, for the engine uh, to be at the idle speed, moving the lever over to the, uh, I guess it's a tachometer or speedometer mark. And you can see if I, as I press, hopefully you can hear that as I press the gas pedal, you can hear the increase in speed on that operation. So uh, let's, uh, for the... Uh, First time movement of the car, I'd recommend to uh, put that lever in a horizontal position so the engine's gonna be spinning freely because it will take some um, energy from the rubber bands to move the engine and at the same time move the wheels. So uh, for the first try, let's, uh, let's do it at the horizontal position. Uh, once again, lever into exclamation mark. So now about 25 uh, times, uh, move it into the drive or reverse, whichever one you prefer. Um, and then uh, we'll move that lever into the uh, speedometer position. And the car should start going, and it does. Uh, you can stop the operation, well, pause the car, um, wipe it up a couple more times. It's just as I said, it's just for the checks. Uh, move it into the reverse, uh, move the lever to the speed and the car goes backwards. So uh, these are the basic operations. Uh, once again, uh, it might not move right away. So I'll just try to tap that gear a little bit. Also, as you can see, this is a real wheel drive. So the, your, uh, the uh, transfer uh, rod will, uh, will operate and move during the operation. So. Um, let's see what else, what other options we have here. Obviously, you can open up a hood. There's a little lever here. Uh, I'm sure you've noticed it during the assembly and you can open it up and close it. Uh, so you can show off a little better um, all your internal components. Um, you do have the suspension on the car. Uh, so as you can see, you can press it a little bit and uh, you see the front of the car move. Um, another operation is obviously you can open the door. Uh, and turn the wheels by turning the steer, steering wheel, which is also pretty cool um, and nice. Um, and then uh, your seat also folds folds a little bit, but uh, it's kind of hard to reach in there and to see. So you can you can say that the back adjustable position of the seat. Uh, more stuff that you have on the car is a little levers right here so you can open it up and make it a flatbed so uh, to transport anything and everything you like uh, and I think uh, this is about it um, for the operation nice everything works nice and smooth um, as I mentioned make sure you do um, 
let the gears settle a little bit because um, they might not operate as smoothly as you've seen on this video uh, the first time but they will operate if you assembled everything correctly so let's do it one more time been wound up uh, let's see and we want to go forward and uh, please uh, email me at uh, ukidstoys uh, at gmail.com uh, it's u-k-i-d-z toys t-o-y-s uh, at uh, gmail.com uh, or you can also see that address in the bottom of uh, the video uh, or I should say in the comments or uh, description section. Uh, you can also visit uh, our website to uh, purchase this unit and or um, find the uh, manual and instructions in there. Uh, it's available in PDF format. Um, once again, if you have any questions, comments, uh, you can also comment below underneath the video. And uh, hopefully this will help you uh, if you're stuck somewhere or if you have some questions. Um, I hope this video um, does Give you good pointers uh, thank you very much for watching um, we'll be back for more instruction videos uh, as i mentioned this is our first one and hopefully uh, it helped somebody to finish up the model thank you and we'll see you guys later